My beloved child, a time of immense blessings is upon you. A period filled with peace, triumph, vigor and abundance, all of which I yearn to grant you. Your unwavering steps and your constant devotion in my presence have not gone unnoticed, and for this you are deserving of even grander blessings. Be mindful of how I have safeguarded you on all your journeys in the past months, delivering you from numerous afflictions and dangers. Should you desire doors of opportunity and abundant, blessings from above, remain steadfast in my teachings. Let not a shred of doubt invade your heart in this month or the future ones. My presence will accompany you always. Steer clear of disobedience and futile thoughts. Your place beside me is secured, not only by my love but also by your firm belief in my assurances. Thus, under my vigilant gaze, you will always find protection. This month, open your heart and attentively listen to my daily guidance, for I will reveal the unique plan I have for you. Do not raise you from your trials to lead an insignificant life devoid of purpose. You are of profound importance to me, vital to my plan, your family, your children, and even your friends. If you trust in my words, trust also in this. I have embedded a distinctive mission within you. Yet haste not into actions or ventures without my counsel. Act not merely on the spur of your feelings. Seek my wisdom before making choices. My desire is to shower you with blessings, but in my timing and manner. Yearn not for the fortunes of others or mimic their paths and achievements. For you, I've crafted unique gifts and a path teeming with untapped potential and skills. These paths are set before you, and those blessings will arrive in due time. However, you must remain diligent in my teachings and in my company to claim what is rightfully yours without squandering your time observing the pursuits of others. Step into your rightful place. Your dreams are on the cusp of becoming reality. Your deepest desires are about to be met, and your leadership will bloom like never before. You will brim with zest for life, with the courage to face battles, and with the diligence to strive in your work. Prepare to lay claim to the territory I have marked out for you, but as you march toward victory, let my words guide every step you take. Consult me before you move forward. Commit to your path. Give your all and embody courage in every challenge you face. Wherever life takes you, expect to be met with kindness and respect, for you are to be a beacon of love and modesty. I urge you not to follow the path of those who seek the world's ephemeral praise, who boast of their wealth for momentary adulation and uh, acclaim. Such people might bask in admiration, yet their hearts are hollow, their spirits tethered to illusion. When I bestow my abundant blessings upon you, it's not for public spectacle or to attract the gaze of foes and fortune seekers. Steer clear of the green-eyed monster of jealousy. Do not trade your family's peace for hollow accolades. Avoid self-appointed titles of leadership or mentorship. Safeguard your heart with utmost care. Heed my words with sincerity. You may choose to ignore me or dismiss the messengers who convey my words through this text. Yet, be forewarned. My word will achieve its purpose. I have sown it in your being, and it will bear fruit. Your life is on the brink of transformation. I bless, watch over, and prosper those who remain true to me, who do not disregard or forsake me. I desire your success in every aspect of life, just as I wish for your soul to thrive through my divine word. Your prayers will not go unanswered. I'm not asking for grand gestures or for you to seek me, only in times of joy, sorrow, or weakness. I long to hear your prayers, witness your repentance, and see your eagerness for transformation. Be aware, I am enhancing your spiritual insight and endowing your spirit with my mighty grace. Feel my presence. I'm with you. 
Every word I promise you shall manifest. Pursue me, delve into my word, and dare to ask for the miracles you deem unattainable. You will discover that your dedication and belief have been worthwhile. Cry out to me, and I will respond, revealing to you the vast and mysterious, laden with profound blessings. Prepare to be astonished. Acknowledge this and affirm your faith in me. This month is designated for blessings and prayer, a time for joy and introspection. Pay close attention. Let not a single word of this message go unnoticed. Dedicate this month to absorbing my word daily, allowing it to embed in your soul and revive you. Amid trials, confrontations, rumors, assaults, and uncertainties, do not succumb to fear or exhaustion, for I stand with you, ready to assist. I'm neither distant nor concealed. You may gaze at the heavens, lift your hands in surrender and adoration, yet I remain by your side. I do not waver or vanish. Remember, my covenant is steadfast, and my decisions are irrevocable. Should you falter, your genuine remorse and simple trust will guide you back to the path of blessing. I am your path, your sovereign God, your guide. You are sheltered under my care, even as you navigate arid lands where the sands may sting. Even if your spirit yearns for unseen blessings, press onward, do not halt. Do not question my affection or presence in light of current challenges. These too shall pass. Advance one more step in faith and behold, I will be there before you. I will provide you the water of life, satiate your thirst and soothe your soul. Your vessel, once empty, will brim with oil. I shall tenderly wash your feet and tenderly dry them with my pure cloak you are deeply cherished and valued by me. You occupy a precious space in my kingdom within your family and in your current dwelling. Always remember that you are destined to be with me in eternity. Your existence, your purpose is everlasting. So, ready yourself to live forever in my sacred presence. Indeed, it is your faith that gives you assurance of what you hope for, the belief that you will receive the blessings you've prayed for from me. Your faith is more precious than all the diamonds in the world, granting your words power and authority. Through your faith you gain the wisdom to make prudent choices and the endurance to persevere. My Holy Spirit communicates with your heart, assuring you that even if you falter or fall, my love for you remains steadfast and my presence in your life undeniable. You must never doubt it, even when faced with trials or bewildered by the events around you. The spark I've ignited within you will never fade, my beloved child. Hear these words deep in your heart. I cherish you immensely. This truth is eternal. My forgiveness is yours. Alongside new beginnings, I joyfully extend to you. Each dawn, let these assurances echo in your spirit, a steadfast reminder of my unwavering presence. Your journey is marked with purpose. Retreat or passive waiting is not your calling. I yearn for your growth, for you to rise above the shadows of doubt and see your true reflection, a creation of profound beauty and worth. Endowed with unique virtues, talents, and blessings from me, your divine creator. Reflect on your triumphs over trials, how you've stood resilient and victorious. Remember, it wasn't solitude in those challenges. My support was ever-present. When you reached out in the silence of your spirit, it was my strength that lifted you, not mere chance or willpower. Acknowledge this divine intervention, for it is in your heartfelt pleas that you find my embrace and guidance. Though you felt distant, you saw how I showed you abundant love and extended my hand. I did not take into account your mistakes. I forgave your faults, rescued you from those situations, and granted you the victory you needed. This month and all those to come, rest assured that I am still here. I hold immense love for you and will endlessly remind you because I see 
how you grow stronger hearing my voice. This strength, born of my love, never wanes as you embrace and spread my message. Journey through this month with unwavering faith, casting blessings far and wide. Anticipate the wonders that await, the deep joy to be unveiled. But remember my words, your faith and a heart full of gratitude will unlock the floodgates of heaven, showering you and your loved ones with sacred blessings. Tell me, will you trust in my promise? Stand tall and step into a victorious month fueled by your faith. My Holy Spirit communicates in gentle murmurs, infusing your heart with divine encouragement and mending your spirit with tender affirmations of love. Night and day, I shall sustain you with the liberating truth, enlightening you to discover your true essence and triumph over every challenge. You belong to me, my brave one, my warrior, my victor. With loyalty and adherence, I uplift and empower you as you advance. Your cries do not go unheard. I am touched by your tears. You seek me early with genuine and earnest faith humbling your soul to request my guidance, knowing well my love for you and trusting that my response is near. Your tears have not gone unnoticed. They shall be wiped away. Your heart so calm and true will be blessed with visions of my presence. There's no need to wait for eternity to witness my glory. You are already destined to receive wondrous blessings right where you stand through your steadfast faith and devotion. Expect miraculous wonders to unfold. I promise to bestow upon you the finest gifts, like choice wheat and heavenly honey, always exceeding your requests. March boldly forward, for numerous blessings await. Venture out to greet them. You are well prepared to embrace them. Your prayers and perseverance have not been in vain. Immense blessings are on their way to you. Cherish this moment. For you have been granted life, and now I infuse you with courage. Do not look back. Continue to pray. Strive with integrity and dedication. Offer me your heart and your allegiance. Seek my presence, and all your needs will be fulfilled. Heed these words daily. Open your spirit, and I will enrich it with faith and hope. As you venture out and navigate life's challenges, be aware that the adversary seeks to undermine your faith, erode your confidence, and disrupt your peace. Yet remember, no force is greater than the love and power of your Heavenly Father, who cherishes you deeply. The enemy's aim is to cause you harm, yet his efforts are in vain against God's might. Deceit and malice will falter and fail. Those who oppose you will find themselves confounded. I urge you to recognize your true essence, not as the world labels you, but as you genuinely are in my eyes, good and positively transformed. You opened your soul to me and I embraced you, catalyzing a profound transformation within. Embrace self-love and tackle life's obstacles with boldness and conviction, staying true to the teachings I have laid out for you. Never lose sight of my commandments and remember, I am your loving Father. I welcomed you with open arms even when you strayed. And now, as you walk in truth, my support and love for you only deepen. I'm always here for you, with arms wide open, ready to embrace you if you choose to leave your missteps behind. You'll be granted forgiveness, and your errors will be completely erased from memory. Trust in me with the innocence of a child who, though wordless, sleeps soundly secure in the knowledge that they are watched over and cared for. Place your faith in me. It's the most precious gift you can offer. Embrace these words, crafted from my deep love for you, written with genuine fondness for you who heed my voice, who close your eyes to doubt and open your heart to belief, unashamed of your faith. Let each word you hear wrap your heart in a soothing embrace, healing and warm. In a realm filled with discouragement and desolation, where individuals scramble for sustenance, envying the tranquil, thinking themselves wise yet never satisfied, engulfed in worry, 
feeling adrift in pursuit of countless answers, wandering misguided paths, yet reluctant to acknowledge a loving, omnipotent God waiting for them. Among them, I notice you. With your modest and steadfast heart, you have stayed close to me, unwavering even amidst your falterings. You're fully aware that such love and open arms, eager to grant you a new beginning, are found nowhere else. Exercise patience, absorb these words each day, and dedicated the time needed amidst your hectic life. Find moments for me. Every second spent in my presence will be rewarded, bringing forth wondrous miracles you didn't even anticipate. I will guide you to unexpected places, unlocking doors you feared were sealed forever. My promises are steadfast. My word, unshakable. The messages you listen to are imbued with your faith and prayers touching my heart deeply. My love for you is boundless. I vow to always provide the finest for you, blessing you so richly that your sorrow will vanish eternally. Embrace these words of blessing that offer tranquility to your spirit and fortitude to your heart. Sit with me and let's behold the horizon filled with splendid blessings as you share your dreams with me once more. I trust you haven't forgotten them. I certainly haven't. You were once so small dreaming big dreams about your future joys and journeys. You desired happiness and adventures far and wide, your heart brimming with delight. Yet, as you grew, your smile dimmed. I understand. It's not your fault. You've been laden with burdens not meant for your shoulders. Those who should have stood by you, offering support and guidance, instead turned away, leaving you to fend for yourself. I watched over you with patience, seeing the spark I placed in your heart light up your darkest nights, offering you a vision of hope that was breathtaking. You realized that the rejection of others did not define your destiny. There was an indescribable force within you urging you forward to conquer challenges to move beyond your pain and to venture into new territories. My gaze followed you, filled with emotion. Your nature sets you apart from those who are self-centered. You aim to grow, to succeed, and to one day be a beacon for those you cherish. I've always known you, recognized the essence of who you are. The life-giving seed resides in your heart, and you are enveloped by my Holy Spirit. Every hardship has been a step toward this pivotal moment. My love for you is boundless, and my faith in you is unwavering. I'm confident in your ability to achieve your goals and admire your persistence in the face of adversity. I've witnessed your tears, your struggles with fear and worry, yet as dawn breaks, a new light shines upon you, bringing a renewed smile to your face and you rise resiliently. Behold my child, I proudly declare. The celestial hosts observe, poised to support you, to keep you from faltering and to aid you in realizing your aspirations. When you reach out to me, I'm there, unveiling profound insights, fortifying your spirit. Your bravery touches me deeply, compelling me to bless you without measure. My faithfulness to my word is unwavering. What I promise I deliver. You've shown great maturity and earnestness poised now to rise to an elevated spiritual plane. Do not measure your worth by others. You are sufficiently equipped with all you need. Concentrate on your aspirations. Avoid dwelling on others' achievements, whether they're genuine or not. Let them chase their illusions while you embrace the tangible. Your relentless effort and unyielding battles won't go unnoticed or be reduced to forgotten scribbles. You weren't brought this far only to retreat. You're here to claim your promised land of blessings. The dreams you've tirelessly nurtured will bear fruit, flourishing beyond your expectations. In these times when the earth mourns and humanity feels its scarcity, you and your family will know blessing. While many despair over dwindling chances, 
your mind remains a fertile ground for innovation. Each morning's communion with me plants seeds that will burgeon into fresh insights. Heaven's gates will swing wide for you. You'll experience this profound love and never look back. My presence in your life is so strong that you shall have nowhere else to go but here, listening to my word. You shall truly be happy every day, whether with clouds or with sunshine. You shall rise motivated by a powerful determination. This divine inspiration shall encourage you. Your arms shall feel strong, your legs agile. Good ideas shall rain upon your mind, and my Holy Spirit shall guide you to knock on the doors you must open. Do not hold on to fear, for you will stand unshaken even before those in high places. In this wide world, there is no one so formidable as to cause you distress. Reach out with confidence, share a warm smile, and you will find others opening up to you. You are destined to bring about wonders and signs, and temporary setbacks will not spell your downfall. Whatever you've lost will be restored to you in greater measure, accompanied by blessings. You are not made to falter, you are mine. You are not shaped for defeat. Through my promises, you have been made a conqueror. Fear not, for my presence has been, is, and always will be with you. The miracle you seek is on its way. Hold firm in your faith. Remember, even in those moments when you felt trapped, surrounded by despair, thinking all was lost, my spirit lifted the veil to show you my powerful intent. I have not chosen you for defeat. You are shaped for victory. Yet it is my wish that you delve deeper in your quest to understand me. In this world, no love matches the depth and purity of mine. Some might not grasp. This choosing instead to dismiss and negative such affection. They struggle to believe that they, too, are profoundly loved. And in their skepticism, they try to instill in others a sense of unending isolation, as if there were no divine entity to offer them profound love. Here I am, before you with open arms, ready to embrace your striving heart, which dreams grandly and occasionally weeps. Your aspirations are genuine and honorable. It is my joy to fulfill those earnest desires you hold for your loved ones. I will not let you fall into unmanageable debt. I do not wish for you to be under anyone's yoke. The blessings I provide are free of charge, yet they are entrusted to you to be shared, to uplift those around you, not to be hidden or wasted. Allow the stream of vitality to course unimpeded, fostering your well-being. I stand as the God of benevolence, generosity, and support, your sustenance, comes from me. The blessings I grant you will be amplified, ensuring you lack nothing. It is my will that your hardships cease. Grasp this truth daily. I furnish you with sustenance, infusing your spirit with words of faith, hope, and love. These utterances aren't just for show, but are words of everlasting significance. When you internalize them, embedding them in your heart and mind, they will secure numerous triumphs for you. Do not fear facing your challengers. You will not encounter deprivation, nor will your descendants need to plead for assistance. They will neither be trapped nor overpowered. I am gifting you with enhanced discernment to grasp the essence of divine might imparted through my Holy Spirit. I'm not just touching your soul for mere comfort, I'm endowing you with strength and mastery over yourself, enabling you to progress and work diligently, to strive and triumph, making your adversaries retreat in dismay. Do not fear any circumstances. Your resilience is notable, yet it's my support that empowers you. I've turned your sorrow into gladness, dispelled your gloom, and instilled in you a sense of true purpose. You are exceptionally unique. Those from your past who observe the changes in you cannot dispute this. Day by day, you grow to reflect my image more closely. Within you, there's a divine anointing, 
providing the vigor to stand tall once more. I shall open doors wherever you go. Ask, and I shall provide you with sacks full of gifts. I want you to use them immediately to do good wherever you are. Share this message with whomever you encounter, whether they seem to need it or not. Do so regardless, for every blessing you share shall return to you multiplied. Adopt my perspective. When I promise to shower you with blessings, envision grandeur not in terms of earthly riches like silver or gold, but in the richness and fullness of eternal life when you earnestly pursue me. Everything else you need will naturally follow. Dive into my teachings and glean wisdom from them. Notice that in every act of wonder, there was always someone with a humble and genuine faith. Their status mattered little. It was their appreciation for the blessings not yet seen that truly amplified their faith. Incredible wonders were witnessed. They parted the sea, defeated numerous armies, multiplied blessings for the poor, healed the sick, endured trials and persecutions with dignity and without complaint. And the same power that granted them Courage to persevere is my Holy Spirit, which stands beside you today. You're engaging with a very real God. In my presence, you'll find love, forgiveness, healing, and salvation, along with wisdom, patience, peace, and insight. Your future, your answers, your escape, and your resolutions are all within my grasp. Draw near to me. I desire for you to understand me more profoundly to truly feel the power of my divine and supernatural essence, to become a conduit through which my kingdom is established and my will is realized in your life and your household. You love me, you draw near to me, and you do not reject me. You allow me to speak, you listen calmly, you wait for me to finish my message, and then you direct your prayer and power forth your words and tears in my presence. This is truly your effective and sincere prayer. My doors are open to you. Feel free to ask me for whatever you wish. I recognize that in your kind heart lie only pure, righteous, and positive desires. You seek neither trivialities nor earthly riches. Your bond with me and your spiritual well-being are your highest priorities. As your spirit flourishes, so too will you in every aspect of your life. I will keep showering your family with generous blessings as I have always done. I will provide you with the endurance needed to await and behold the unfolding miracles, all occurring in my precise timing. A multitude of surprising and wonderful events are set to unfold. Turn to your Bible. Immerse yourself in my teachings to ignite your faith and keep your spirit robust ensuring your confidence remains unshaken. Present your faith like a vessel, and I will lift the heavy loads from your shoulders and safeguard your journey from missteps. I'm the beacon that lights up your path. You are not navigating in darkness or battling aimlessly. Ahead of you awaits a safe haven, a splendid future filled with immense happiness and joy, health, serenity, peace, and hope. Expect provision and prosperity in your home, all dedicated to your flourishing. I have a purpose. Trust in me and rest, but do not distress or feel despondent. If suddenly, discouragement strikes and knocks at the door of your soul, when your spirit dwindles, you will always remember me. The call of my Holy Spirit will resonate in your heart, bringing you back to my presence. Once again, I shall fill you with strength and the desire to live. There are no depths from which I cannot rescue you. If you veered off the path I've laid out for you, embrace your genuine remorse and reach out to me with trust. Dismiss any fear. You are under the care of a father who defends, cherishes, and advocates for you. Maintain your faith. Come at everything to me. Relinquish your worries and I shall reveal the solutions. Stand up, embodying the valiant warrior you are meant to be, wielding your faith courageously to face challenges, yet remember to reconnect with your source of might. 
I will never abandon you. Your success is certain. Your victory secured. My word and promises are steadfast. I'm truthful. Move forward courageously. You are exactly where I intend for you to thrive and find joy. Ignore transient hurdles. I will manage them. Approach me with assurance any time. Present your requests and I will provide answers, surrounding you with my peace. Recall that my word offers you guidance and impeccable advice to navigate correctly. Harvesting blessings, making prudent choices and steadfastly walking in my intentions. Step forward without fear, secure in the knowledge that you are enveloped in my protective presence, abiding under my care now and forevermore. Doors are already swinging open for you. Each new day seek my presence, and I will unveil the marvelous events unfolding in the spiritual realm for your good, bringing blessings, triumph, and joy. Victory is yours. Dismiss any thoughts of defeat and reject harmful words from affecting your spirit no matter where they come from. Embrace the truth that I cherish you deeply, a love that will never be withdrawn. You will navigate through this phase, Yasend, and should you stumble, you will not be left to downcast. However, direct your focus towards me. Pursue me each day with earnestness and humility. Recognize your dependence on me, and as I request your commitment, please respond to my call for closeness. Embrace your courage. While you've shown great independence and remarkable strength, remember, you are extraordinary, and I am intimately aware of your resilience. The burden you carry grows heavier each day. Recognize that you need someone to set you free forever. You can count on me. Trust me, as I have told you. Halt your steps and rest. Let us sit for a while. I want you to hear the healing power of my word. Let the promises that can heal your soul enter through your ears, descend to your heart, and cleanse your entire being of worry. You're diligent, aiming for success and honoring your obligations, yet you push yourself too hard and excessive toil might lead you off course. Progress should be a joint effort, but fruitless labor can make you feel adrift. While it's crucial to earn your livelihood and support your family, without my guidance in building your life, your endeavors are fruitless, resulting in restless nights and unfulfilled dreams. Pause your relentless efforts. Take a moment to find peace. Allow me to provide clarity and direction. Your body is tired, and right now, I offer you words of healing, encouragement, and solace. You face daily challenges. Many stand against you, and adversarial forces seek to wear you down. However, I do not wish for you to be crushed under the weight of unbearable struggles. Let me help you. Experiencing my love anew will be beneficial, rekindling your faith to its former brightness. There's no need for embarrassment in your belief in me. I desire for you to rediscover the zeal in seeking me, that you once possess it. You are not vanquished. Your dreams are still alive. Occupy yourself with filling your mind with my word, spending more time in my presence alone. If you have any matters to settle, begin with me first. Do not fear. I come to offer you my hand as a true friend. Let us take the first step. Feel my embrace. Your heart will be filled with joy, your mind with peace. You don't have to move from one challenge to another, feeling isolated and unsupported. I understand that those around you might be caught up in their own issues, sometimes too engulfed in their troubles to notice your struggles. Trust me, there are many who do think about you, who care for you, and wish you well. Yet, they might struggle to show it, fearing they might be turned away. So don't ignore this assurance. Embrace the joy I provide you each day and let your face reflect the uplifting smile that can bring about healing and wonders. Share your smile with everyone today. Do it right now, and watch how it transforms the demeanor of some as they come to see a true friend in you.
Broken bonds will heal, and you'll meet individuals who will be significant blessings in your life. Remember, our bond is steadfast and everlasting. I have granted you a fresh start. I have washed your feet and set you on an extraordinary and divine journey. It is you to whom I will disclose numerous upcoming events. Apply these gifts with discernment, and you will become an immense source of good for those near you and across many lands. Yet prioritize being a boon to your family above all else. Continue your journey on this day, and do not forget what I have asked of you. When conflicts arise, accept my help, and you will see how together you and I will reach the summit of that mountain sooner. Your soul will be at peace, and you will walk in your day feeling my presence and full of peace. It's truly wonderful when we communicate. I cherish supporting you and am delighted when you seek my assistance. Stand now, embraced by the lovely certainty that I will bless and aid you in all things. My love for you is steadfast, unchanging in the past, present, and future. Currently, I envelop you in tranquility. It's my wish for your soul to overflow with joy, for you to experience unending security in your life, and for you to never doubt my constant presence by your side, keenly aware of all that surrounds you. With me, you lack nothing. The words you hear from me instill confidence within you, turning your voice into an expression of thanksgiving. I am orchestrating events and circumstances to shower you with plentiful blessings. I desire for you to recognize that your faith and eagerness to trust in me unlock the gates to my kingdom. Believe in my promises, in my holy word that fills you with strength. You are already seeing the fruits of that beautiful decision you made to reactivate your faith, to return to the ancient path, that burning desire to open your Bible and receive my advice and my commandments. Every seed planted in your heart is destined to flourish fully. Each word, every line, the Psalms and my teachings down to every letter and nuance will take root in the nourishing ground of your spirit and abundant fruits will emerge. Profound changes, transformative experiences, crucial decisions, and impactful miracles are on the horizon. Continue on your path. There's no need to turn back. You're on a challenging journey, yet it's the correct path leading to true fulfillment. The peace you're now experiencing is essential for your household, promising to usher in newfound harmony among your loved ones. It's my wish that all are ready, so success will not catch them off guard, nor will adversaries find an opening. I deeply desire that victory and success don't lead to arrogance. True abundance thrives in a home marked by humility, a genuine willingness to view others with compassion, to assist, to share one's blessings, and to offer help without hidden agendas. However, those consumed by greed, seeking rapid wealth, who cling tightly to my gifts without a thought of sharing, will not experience genuine prosperity. True spiritual richness isn't measured by overflowing bank accounts or pockets filled with gold. The blessings I bestow bring peace, joy, relaxation, and kindness. They don't vanish or get taken by thieves. They're not fleeting or insubstantial. My blessings are everlasting, transcending all material wealth. Indeed, there are treasures far greater than the fleeting offerings of this world. Value your family, your health, your spiritual life. Only then will you achieve true triumph and be embraced with my eternal love and great happiness. Dedicate each day to seeking my face, to receiving my word, to sowing kindness in others, and to treating others with respect as I treat you. Follow my guidance and you will witness the barriers to your blessings crumble. My love for you motivates my plea for your keen attention to my words today. I desire your happiness, peace, health, and calm. Ensuring your life is enveloped in all necessary provisions. Maintaining our connection is essential. 
Even on days when you awaken lacking motivation or return home exhausted, remember me. I am with you throughout your day, eager to converse and impart my wisdom. I notice your anxieties, the overwhelming concerns of your daily life, and you may forget that I, your Heavenly Father, am ever present, ready to embrace you, to lift the weights off your shoulders, for I promise not to let you face more than you can endure. If I'm ready to assist you, there's no need for concern. Let's agree, whenever you call on me at any moment, you'll instantly feel my embrace and hear the tender way I address you. No matter where you are, I'll be there to guide you again. The times you reach out to talk and request my help are precious to me, and for you, they should be moments of profound serenity. Don't overlook this wonderful gift. It's yours to claim. Simply open your hands, shut your eyes, and immerse yourself in my love. I'm removing all your anxieties and enveloping your heart with heavenly tranquility. Show me your joy. I wish to sense your thankful spirit. My love for you is deep. You merit the finest. And I assure you, my focus isn't on worldly possessions, but on offering you my enduring love. This love is supreme and exquisite, and it's already yours. This love encircles and upholds you continually. It's this magnificent love that kindles the emotion swelling within you now. Such a splendid sentiment empowers you to venture boldly, tackle challenges with confidence, and confront any adversity with bravery and resolve. I sought my word, my promises, and my will. You are seated beside me in celestial realms, and I have surrounded you with abundant blessings. However, to receive them, you must believe. At this moment, perhaps you do not fully comprehend them, nor do you anticipate them. Yet I am real and true, more certain than the air you breathe, more beautiful and pure than the sunlight that illuminates you daily. I have been, I am, and I will be here by your side forever, in the early hours, in the afternoons, at all times. I do not tear or slumber. I am ready and attentive to every need that arises from your heart and reaches my throne in sincere supplication. Understand the essence of my grace. It's an everlasting gift given from my love, not due to your merits or perfection. When I say you deserve the best, it's because you already have it within you. You don't need to conquer countless challenges to earn my favor. That's not the principle of my realm. In my domain, victories come through faith, and blessings are embraced with thankfulness and modesty. The skills and gifts I grant you are meant for service, not for self-promotion or seeking validation from others. True followers who grasp my essence live out my words showing their authenticity and genuine nature in their actions, not claiming to be leaders or seeking followers to admire them. If you wish to be part of my divine kingdom, protect your heart from arrogance. Acknowledge that if you've been endowed with special gifts and blessings, they're given to maintain your humility and to assist others generously. When you extend your help wholeheartedly, you'll witness countless wonders. I've vested you with my power. You can navigate through conflicts, conquer formidable challenges, and remain unscathed. Advance towards your success with assurance, for your triumph is already secured. Walk in faith and confidence, mindful of your words and shedding any outdated sentiments or regrets. Embrace new visions and goals. Let my restorative forgiveness fill you entirely allowing a bright future to unfold in place of your past. I'm igniting a flame within your soul that will illuminate all those around you, especially those whom you love dearly. Notice how their countenances change when they gaze upon you. The radiance emanating from your eyes is the powerful anointing of my Holy Spirit. I am granting it to you out of grace and love but it is your responsibility to nurture it with my word, seeking me in prayer. As you delve deeper into this spiritual realm, you will feel complete, 
to seek me even in your dreams. I will reveal my will to you, use this precious gift with great responsibility. I'm offering you a glimpse of divine bliss, not for boasting, but for you to walk in modesty, treating everyone with respect. They are your kin, your family. Engage with others as you'd like to be engaged, acting as a true and heartfelt companion. Each act of kindness plants a celestial seed in you, sprouting into wonders, healing, and vigor. It's truly heartwarming when you, your relatives and friends, live in unity and pursue me collectively. My spirit won't linger in environments where I'm spurned or where strife prevails. It disheartens me when some declare their love for me, but disparage others using the same voice. They often echo negative hearsay without knowing the truth yet they hesitate to commend. No positivity can emerge from a barren spirit, from a well devoid of life mired in the aridity of cynicism. Let me perform mighty miracles in your life. Respond to me with faith, sweetness, patience, and humility, always thinking well of others, desiring in your heart to use these gifts to create greater blessings. You deserve the best, because the best is already yours. I love you. That is the truth, and this holy love cannot be taken from you. Come to me when you feel distressed, on those days when sorrow and troubling thoughts steal your peace. Sometimes you do not even know the source of those feelings. Perhaps you need to nourish your spirit, spend more time in prayer, or there might be something weighing on your heart. But regardless of the reason, come to me today. I have everything you need, freely and unconditionally. Come as you are. My Holy Spirit welcomes you, accepts you. You are warmly received, no matter how you feel. Here, there is comfort, eternal affection, and forgiveness. If anyone suggests that barriers or conditions block your path to my embrace or my grace, don't heed their words. Through the sacrifice made on the cross, where my blood was shed, I've already unlocked the gateway to my affection for you, even before your birth. I recognized you, tailored the path, cleared away the debris and obstacles, ensuring you could find your way to me. I eliminated every barrier to enable our meeting. The issue of your forgiveness and my love for you is a personal affair between us. I don't require anyone's approval to forgive and bless you. I do it out of my love, because I have cleansed you with my sacrifice. Yet, many will not accept the magnificent work I've done in your life, regardless of what they say. Neither your faith nor your spirit should depend on them. It is the truth that many will deny you forgiveness, harbor hatred towards you forever, refuse to see you again and eject you from their lives. That is their decision, and you must accept it, letting go of the situation. You have done what you could. Now, proceed on your path, for I will perform wondrous things with you. You will trust in me. Rise again. I will give you the strength and courage to face all situations. I will deliver you from despair, heal your mind of all depression. If you're ever feeling down, or there's something inside you that's hard to understand, know that I'm here for you. Just come and listen. Even if you feel you've stumbled and have nothing to present to me, your faith, repentance, heart, devotion, and allegiance are precious gifts to me. Embrace the truth. My love for you is unwavering. Trust in this, experience it, feel it deeply. I'll never leave you. No harm will come your way. You're cradled in my care, and I am with you, even in the toughest times. Maintain your faith. If someone departs from your life, if an opportunity seems lost, if you face material loss, don't fear. You have life. My love for you is constant. Feel my embrace. You hold a cherished place in my plan. My wish is for you to be healed. I long to soothe your soul with my peace and infuse you with my spirit. I'm aware of your challenges, 
And it's my wish too that you find serenity that you want for nothing, that you approach your daily duties with honesty, free from fear or distress, feeling profoundly cherished and safeguarded by your heavenly father, the transformation happening in your environment are orchestrated by my mighty hand, which is making your way clear, removing hindrances and warding off any on aiming to hurt you, steal from you or injure your spirit. Pause your busyness. Do not isolate yourself out of fear of potential events. Do not keep silent. Continue to pray and express gratitude. Don't retreat from others and certainly not from me. I'm eager to bless you beyond your dreams. I possess the power to enact wondrous deeds. I can erase your past mistakes and pave the way for a wonderful future. I want to reveal to your heart the meaning of my sacrifice. I gave my life on a cross and bore all your punishments in my body. I suffered for you. Have faith. I've come to relieve you of your guilt so that you no longer feel downtrodden. You're meant to receive a rich legacy in life. I've reserved blessings and tranquility for you, positioning you in a realm brimming with love. My desire is for you to constantly feel cherished and secure through every moment, in warmth or chill, wherever your journey leads. I'm removing that sense of isolation, the emptiness inside the unsettling premonition of impending trouble. If betrayal has left you weeping, soul in tatters, know that my glory envelops you. It arrives to whisper love into your being, to mend your hurts, to brush away the despair and to elevate you toward a promising future. Don't lament over those who fail to value you. Reserve no cherished spot in your heart for the ones who've inflicted pain. If they choose to depart, let them if they contemplate returning, weigh your decision. Exercise caution. Not all open arms are to be embraced. I don't wish solitude for you. I care deeply about your emotional well-being. Trust in my timing. Refrain from hurrying my actions or insisting on swift responses from me. I'm like the dove that cares for its young, protecting them from rain and cold. Your soul will be guarded and comforted. One day when you come to your heavenly home and stand before me, you will understand many situations you experienced. But there's still time for that, and it's my will that you experience a piece of heaven on earth. This eternal feeling, this unbreakable bond of love, this divine gentleness that shines more brilliantly than a thousand suns, enveloping you in a glorious, pure light. I am here to bless you, cherish you, and shield you. Trust in me, for I will surely do so. Your life rests securely in my embrace. Allow me to orchestrate the circumstances and people around you. It has never been my desire for you to traverse through life in solitude, perpetually plagued by want, engulfed in turmoil, or living in the shadow of fear. Fear no one. Let go of your grip on earthly possessions. With life pulsing through your veins, you possess far more than mere hope. With faith in your heart, no door remains closed. The realm of miraculous wonders awaits your call. I ask of you a simple task. Reach out to every family member and convey my profound love. For them, a love filled with gentleness and serenity. Place your hands upon their shoulders gaze into their eyes and impart these words. God declares his love for you and so do I. Let the tears come. There's no shame in weeping. Today marks the dawn of a new era in your home, an era of healing and rejuvenation. This sacred blessing I'm bestowing upon you envelops you now, growing ever closer and more tangible. Embrace it with a thankful heart. Tomorrow I wish to converse with you once more, you will be brimming with peace, secure in the knowledge that I am here, awaiting you with open arms of love. Here in my presence, you're cherished. Ahead of you lies a path of triumph and abundant blessings. 
I've crafted a specific plan for your life, and it shall come to pass, regardless of any opposition. You've heard my words. There's no longer any need to settle for the meager scraps others might discard your way. You are entitled to your own divine blessings, and you have a Heavenly Father ready to welcome you, to heal and uplift you, to bring prosperity into your life, and to care for you endlessly. Those who caused your stumble will regret it. Those who belittled you will receive a choice they'll never forget for raising their hand against you. I defend those I love, and I'll make all your enemies flee. I'm clearing the path of obstacles and conflicts. So, make the most of your time. Don't lock yourself in your room, crying over the past, screaming into the wind, missing the false embrace of those who despised and wanted to destroy you. I trust you won't place your affection in those who don't value it above the love you have for me. Right here beside me is where true life flourishes, a joy unlike any you've ever experienced, a feeling of beauty beyond anything you've ever known. I have for you a compelling reason to live. I'm paving this path that will lead you to your dreams so that you may follow it. You no longer need to look back. There is no one in your past who loves you as deeply and desires only good for you as I do. I wish to bless you and guide you always. Embrace this certainty of feeling loved and protected by a supernatural God. I'm not asking for anything material. Gold, silver, and precious stones do not impress me. What moves me is your faith and sincerity. You indeed desire change. You want to live life as it should be lived, seizing every moment and using your talents and resources to bless others, starting with your family. You desire in your heart to share with the world that there is love, forgiveness, and salvation, a path, a truth, and that here in my presence they will find the strength they need to rise again and start new. Let go of what's behind you. I urge you to make that choice for yourself. And if you seek assistance, just call on me, and I will extend my hand to help you. I will permanently clear your path of any hurdles, so do not grieve when you stop receiving messages or acknowledgments from those who are insincere. On the cross, I sacrificed my life so you could be liberated. You were not created to be shackled by emotional chains. The echoes of insincere affections will no longer haunt you. I'm bestowing upon you a spirit of love, self-discipline, bravery, and truth. Should you need to face individuals from your past or navigate through past tribulations, do not fear, for I am with you. I will mute the roaring lions, vanquish the scoffers. As you pass through fires, you won't be touched by the flames as before. Your attire, your hair, nor your feet will feel the agony they once did. For today, in my sacred name, you will confront these challenges, and with my Holy Spirit, you will triumph over them. Answer me, I want to hear you. Feel how these words ignite the faith that was dwindling and reignite the flame of those desires to triumph. Listen, receive, and believe. There is no bad habit or vice you cannot overcome. The enemy has no power over you, and you must believe it, because neither sorcery nor witchcraft, nor bindings nor incantations can harm you. The armies of evil surround you, but they only make noise, shout hollow threats. They want you to fear them, because fear is the only thing that can stop you. Rise, brave heart. I am entrusting you with my authority. Stand above the conflicts that came to steal your happiness. Today your chains are broken. The discouragement that weighed you down, the emotions that battered you, the memories that hurt you, all of it ends today. Take my hand, dear one, and let us stride forward together toward a future brimming with triumph and divine favor. Return to me on the morrow, lend an ear to my guidance, and I shall bestow upon you an ever-flowing stream of life-giving water from the eternal fountain. Be assured, 
My Holy Spirit will continuously bathe you in my encompassing love and my extraordinary presence that forever clings to you. I reiterate this message, for I'm aware that its echo in your ears ushers in delight and serenity. My affection for you is boundless. My benedictions cascade over your life like a divine torrent, enriching your family, your endeavors, and your dwelling. No force, no being can obstruct this flow. Embrace this vow and dwell in tranquility. Remember I am with you from your very first breath to the end of time. My embrace encircles you, my celestial legions stand watch over you day and night, and my Holy Spirit steers you now, tomorrow, and forevermore. Release your stress, imbibe serenity, cast aside apprehension, I drench you in assurance. Words of vigor flow from your speech. You are a fountain of gentle, vivifying waters from within. You springs an invigorating well, rejuvenating faltering spirits. Hold steadfast in faith, I hold the ultimate decree, and my verdict is flawless. In all the challenges you encounter today, trust that I will lead you to triumph, carve out new paths for you and stand by your side, cling to life, and open your heart wide to be filled with loving words. You were created to bask in my celestial radiance not to linger in shadows or be tethered to despair. Witness the dawn. Embrace the warmth of its glow. There's a beacon of hope beyond the darkness that once surrounded you. I have lifted all burdens that once shackled you in despondency and solitude, the disregard and insults, the uproars and senseless utterances, every attempt to undermine you and steal your aspirations. All these are gone. Vanished. Do not linger on past sorrows or attempt to revisit bygone times to retrieve what was lost, for it no longer exists. Your spirit is cleansed, your mind at peace, and your heart primed for a new beginning, brimming with joy. Countless blessings are on their way to you. The gates and portals of heaven swing wide in honor of your steadfastness. Your faith and allegiance have been your offerings to me. You've placed me at the forefront of your life. I'm overjoyed, the proudest father in all creation. Step forward. Let's revel in the joy of your forthcoming triumph with the same zeal you show in your daily prayers, with the persistence you exhibit as you kneel, undeterred by time or circumstance. You seek my presence, bringing forth your prayers, and I urge you to step out and embrace the victory awaiting you. Embrace these magnificent blessings I bestow upon you. My words are the pillars of strength for the valiant, the backbone for the victor, the beacon of wisdom for anyone who chooses to welcome me into their heart. Depart from the life you once led, devoid of faith and hope. I am opening unto thee a sacred portal. Extending my hand, I aid thee in ascending the steps to another plane where the supernatural shall shape thy existence. Witness miracles unfold daily. Thy conviction is the key. My divine spirit shall be thy guide. Thou dost not seek frivolities nor fantasies in thy prayers, for thou knowest what to beseech. I rejoice in thy gratitude upon receiving my response. Employ my blessings to assist others. Distribute unto the needy from what I bestow upon thee. Thou art not of those who offer scant aid. Thou bringest joy and solace to the troubled heart. As thou disseminate this message of hope and healing, so shall thy blessings multiply. Fear not victory, embrace triumph. Shun not prosperity. Thy kin shall be greatly favored, and even thy foes and strangers shalt receive a divine touch, emerging from sorrow into happiness. Behold the fruits of thy prayerful decision. Envision the new and potent occurrences. Divided families shall reconcile. The infirm shall rise from their beds. Emboldened by my word, your debts will be cleared and your table will always be filled with provisions. I will abundantly refill your reserves 
so you can give freely to those in need, unshackled by worry. Greater miracles are destined to flow through you, as I have promised. Accept and trust, for the new day will unveil revelations and bring new encounters your way. Gaze upon the expansive blue skies, ripe with possibilities. Stand firm, put forth your effort, be brave, for there's much to achieve. My love for you is deep, and my desire is to shower you with blessings. Will you trust in me? Do not be troubled by family challenges. Do not fret, for I hold everything in my grasp. My angels surround your home. My love wraps around your dwelling. Even when things don't seem to align with your hopes, remain patient, for I am in command. Find your rest in me today. Place your trust in me. I will turn each of your trials into greater victories, providing support, and lifting you up. Let no fear recede in your heart, for my words empower you to endure and succeed in all endeavors. Do you wish for peace and well-being in your family? For harmony to prevail in your household? Continue in prayer, focusing not on your struggles, but on your earnest supplications. Your faith and trust have not gone unnoticed. I will bless you richly. Await the unfolding miracles. Expect blessings to fill your life and discord to fade away. Enfold thy family in prayer, guarding and protecting them. Dedicate a daily hour for communal supplication in my presence. Despite the trials and tempests, I have bestowed great blessings upon thee, never forsaking thee. Some ungrateful for my blessings, succumb to pride and renounce the God who saved them. Guard thy household against such folly. Remind them daily of the source of their blessings. With steadfast prayer, the curse shall not touch their lives. Sickness and scarcity shall flee. Thy home shall be guarded by hosts of angels. Adversaries shall not draw near. Envision thy family united and thy children blessed, reflecting my supernatural power. I have a special purpose for each in thy household. None shall be snatched from my hand. I protect thee daily as I lavish blessings upon thee. I ask for thy hearts and loyalty in return. My word is alive, eternal. My promise to care and bless thee is unwavering. I beseech but a modicum of faith, a commitment to seek me to persevere in prayer and to never cease believing. Prepare to witness marvels and wonders. My power manifests in homes that seek me with humility and gratitude. I am immutable, yesterday, today, and forever with thee. I have an unwavering commitment that I will never break. I have bestowed upon you my Holy Spirit and supernatural gifts I will fill you with. I cherish your heart and love your family. Your attitude and grateful soul please me, yet you also honor me when you seek goodness for those you love. Here in my presence, you will find everything you need, faith, strength, wisdom, and patience. Receive my love, accept my affection. Your blessing is imminent in these days to come. Open your heart to happiness, for the miracle you await will come to fruition. Have confidence just as those times when you felt cornered and hopeless and my spirit revealed my mighty presence to you. I have not destined you for failure. Victory is your path. Yet my wish is for you to seek and truly know me. In this world you will find no love as complete and profound as mine. Some may fail to grasp this, choosing instead to ignore or deny such love unable to believe they are also cherished deeply. In their skepticism, they attempt to instill in others the belief that they are solitary, devoid of a God who loves them immensely. But here I am, before you, arms wide open, ready for you to entrust me with your weary heart, one that harbors dreams and sometimes sheds tears. Your intentions are pure, I long to fulfill the desires you and your family hold dear. I will not let you be burdened with unmanageable debts. I do not want you to be beholden to anyone. 
The blessings I offer you are free, given so you can enrich others to support your loved ones, not to accumulate selfishly. A seed kept hidden will never grow. Allow the stream of abundance to flow freely and welcome the prosperity meant for you. I am the God of those who assist, share, and give generously. I am your sustainer. The blessings I grant you will be multiplied, ensuring you want for nothing. I have declared an end to your struggles and the overwhelming burdens of daily life. I feed your spirit with words of faith, hope, and love. These are not mere words for display. They are my promises of everlasting life. Hold them dear in your heart and mind, and they will lead you to numerous triumphs. You need not fear your foes. You will not know lack, nor will your offspring beg or face defeat. I am enhancing your awareness of my Holy Spirit's supernatural power. My touch on your soul is not just for comfort. It is an empowerment for self-discipline, enabling you to stand and act, to fight and win, causing your adversaries to retreat in dismay, ensuring you fear no circumstance. You have a resilience that's truly remarkable, but remember, it's my presence that fortifies you. I've turned your sorrow into joy, your aimlessness into direction. You stand out as extraordinary, and even those from your past can see the transformation in you. A change, so profound it speaks of divine influence. Each day you grow to reflect more of my essence. I've blessed you with a heavenly anointing, gifting you the vigor to stand tall once more. Wherever you tread, I promise to open pathways and shower you with blessings. I urge you to thrive, to spread kindness in all your endeavors. Share the good news with everyone you encounter regardless of their immediate needs. This act of giving is not in vain, for every piece of joy you distribute will come back to you, amplified. Adopt my perspective. When I promise to shower you with blessings, envision greatness beyond earthly riches. Think of a life filled with endless abundance and eternal vitality. Pursue this earnestly, and all else will follow. Delve into my word, draw lessons from it. Notice that behind each miracle stood someone with a gentle, earnest faith, whether deemed significant or modest. They believed in the unseen, fueling your faith to burn even brighter. They were witnesses to awe-inspiring acts, parting of seas, triumphs over vast armies, provision for the needy, healing of the infirm, and steadfastness through trials without grievance. The same spirit that empowered them is with you now. You are in the company of a real God. In my presence, you'll find love, grace, healing, and redemption. Wisdom, patience, peace, and insight flourish here. Your future, your answers, your escape, and your resolutions are in my care. Draw near. I desire for you to delve deeper into my essence, to witness the power of my divine presence. Be a conduit for my kingdom, ensuring my will prevails within you and through your life. You will triumph and reject any notion of defeat. Do not let harmful words penetrate your being, no matter where they come from. Now is the time to fully embrace the truth that I cherish you and my love is steadfast, unwavering in your life. You will rise again. Even if you've hit rock bottom, you won't remain there. Yet I ask for your focus. Seek me earnestly and with humility every day. Recognize your need for me. I am reaching out to you. Heed my call, please. Embrace my support. It's all right to show courage. You've shown great independence and you are unique. I see your strength, yet I also see the growing weight upon your shoulders. Admit your need for liberation. Only I can provide everlasting freedom. Trust in me, I urge you. Pause your stride, take a moment to rest with me. Listen to the restorative power of my words. Let my promises wash over you, cleansing your heart from all anxieties. You are diligent and wish for success. You honor your obligations but are prone to worry excessively. 
and too much toil can mislead you. Laboring aimlessly bears no fruit, leaving you feeling adrift. You strive for sustenance and your family's well-being, but without my guidance, your endeavors are futile. Sleepless nights and unfulfilled dreams serve no purpose. Ease your mind, take a moment to be still, and allow me to enlighten your thoughts. Your body is tired, and now I offer you words of healing, encouragement, and comfort. You face daily battles, many stand against you, and adversity blows harshly in your direction. Yet I do not wish for these challenges to overwhelm you. Allow me the chance to aid you. Feel my love anew. Let it reinvigorate your faith as brightly as before. Do not feel embarrassed to lean on me. I yearn for you to rediscover the fervor in seeking me that you once had. You are not defeated. Your dreams are not extinguished. Occupy your mind with my word. Spend more time in my presence alone. You must do this now. If you have any matters to resolve with me first, fear not. I come to extend my hand to you as a faithful friend. Let us take the first step. Feel my embrace, and your heart will fill with joy and peace. There is no reason for you to live from struggle to struggle and from trial to trial, thinking that no one understands or assists you. I know that some around you are preoccupied with their own lives, and at times they are so troubled that they are unaware of what is happening to you. Trust me, many of them do think of you, love you, and care about what happens to you, but they do not know how to express it. They fear your rejection. Therefore, I urge you not to ignore me. Draw forth from your soul the happiness that I bestow upon you daily, and let that powerful smile adorn your face, for it can initiate so much healing and many miracles. Smile at everyone today, do it now, and you will see how the attitudes of some of them change, realizing that in you, they find a good friend. Many relationships once strained will heal. You will meet people who will immensely bless your life. Remember, our bond is true and everlasting. I've granted you a fresh start, cleansed your path, and guided you onto a journey filled with wonder and divine purpose. I will unveil to you the unfolding of events yet to come. Harness these revelations with care and you will become a source of immense joy and blessing to those around you and even beyond, to many nations. Yet let your foremost blessing be upon your family. Embrace this day and the path I've laid out for you. In moments of strife, lean on my strength and witness how, side by side, we will climb the highest peaks. Your heart will discover peace and your steps will be light, knowing I am with you bestowing serenity throughout your day. Our dialogues are precious to me. Your trust in seeking my guidance brings me joy. Stand up now, emboldened by the knowledge that I am here to bless and support you in all things. My love for you is steadfast and enduring. You are worthy of the utmost gifts, and I am not merely speaking of earthly treasures, but of my enduring love, the finest of all gifts. It envelops you, providing strength and comfort at every turn. It is this beautiful love that ignites the motivation you're feeling now, this lovely feeling that is growing in your heart, giving you the strength to go forth and fight without fear, facing any trial with great confidence and determination. Seek my word, my promises, and my will. You are seated with me in heavenly places, surrounded by many blessings, but to receive them, you must believe. At this moment, you may not understand them or even expect them, but I am real and true, more certain than the air you breathe, more beautiful and pure than the sunlight that illuminates your day. I am ever present, constantly by your side at dawn, dusk, and every moment in between. My vigilance is unceasing. I neither tire nor sleep. I am always alert, ready to respond to the cries of your heart that ascend to me in earnest prayer. Understand the nature of my grace. 
it is an everlasting gift bestowed upon you from a place of love, not because you earned it or because of your flawlessness. When I say you deserve the best, it's because you already possess it in my love. You don't need to conquer endless battles or undergo countless trials to earn more of my blessings. That's not how my realm operates. In my domain, victories come through faith and blessings are embraced with a grateful and humble heart. The talents and gifts I've imparted to you are not for self-promotion, not for gathering praise or the adulation of others. Those who truly understand me live out their faith with integrity and genuine actions. They don't claim leadership for self-glory, don't seek followers to admire them, don't aim to be seen as influencers, nor chase after earthly accolades or vanity. To truly walk in the fullness of my spiritual kingdom, protect your heart from pride. If I've endowed you with talents and greater blessings, it's for you to walk humbly, to reach out and assist the needy with a genuine spirit. And when you do this with true compassion, you'll witness countless wonders unfold. I've given you my authority. You can tread upon conflicts, problems and giants and nothing will harm you. You can rise and march towards triumph because your victory has already been won. Proceed with faith and confidence. Guard your lips from words that displease me, removing from your life any feelings that should no longer be there. Exchange those memories and regrets for new dreams and aspirations. Let my healing forgiveness enshroud your essence entirely. Permit me to exchange your past for a promising future. I'm igniting a flame within your soul that will illuminate all those dwelling around you, but most significantly, those whom you cherish dearly. Observe how their countenances transform as they gaze upon you. This radiance emanating from your eyes is the potent anointment of my Holy Spirit, graciously bestowed upon you out of love. However, it is incumbent upon you to nourish yourself with my word, seeking me in prayer. As you immerse yourself in this spiritual realm, you will feel compelled to seek me further in your dreams. I shall reveal my will to you. Utilize this precious gift with utmost responsibility. I grant you a taste of heaven, not to proclaim it loudly to the world, but to walk humbly. Treat others with dignity, for they are your brethren, your family. Conduct yourself toward them as you wish them to treat you. Behave as a genuine and sincere friend with each act of kindness and tenderness towards another. I sow a new supernatural seed within your soul, which shall burgeon abundantly, yielding new miracles, healing, and strength. Behold the joy and beauty that envelops you your loved ones, friends, and all who cross your path when you choose to live in unity and seek my presence. Remember, my Holy Spirit thrives in environments filled with love and acceptance, not in spaces marred by rejection and discord. It saddens me deeply when I observe some proclaim their devotion to me, yet their words towards others are less than kind, spreading rumors and negative talk without even knowing the full story. They are quick to criticize and slow to praise. No nourishment can come from a barren heart, a heart that resembles a dry well steeped in negativity and devoid of life-giving water. Allow me. The joy of working wondrous miracles in your life. Respond to my call with a heart full of faith and kindness, patience and humility. Think well of others, harbor the desire deep within you to use the blessings I bestow upon you to bring joy and grace to others. You're deserving of all that is wonderful because the greatest gifts are already within your grasp. Know this, I love you immensely. This truth is unshakable and this divine love is eternally yours.